Hello everyone, welcome back to Computer Tech. It is Friday, April 4th. I am gone, still at FBLA. This video is meant to show you how to set up your thank you note card. Please watch it so you understand what you're doing and so that you can um, do a good job on this. You are going to open up Microsoft Publisher. We will then choose blank page size. We're going to select once again our letter um, portrait style 8.5 by 11. Go ahead and click create. It says that we are going to place vertical guides. and um, Oh, but first we also need to change our margins. So we're going to click on change page size. Over here on the margins we're going to type in 0.25. So change each of the margins to 0.25. Go ahead and click OK. All right, and we're going to then place our vertical guide. So I'm going to choose Add Vertical Guide, and I want it to be at the um, four inch mark. Add another vertical ruler guide, the 4.25 inch mark, and the 4.5 inch mark. So I'm going to have three going right down the middle. Um, next it says I need to place horizontal vertical guides. So I'm going to go to ruler guides, horizontal guide. I'm going to put one on the um, 5.25 inch mark. Let me make sure I got it there. Um, add another one to the 5.5 inch mark. Add your third one to the um, 5.75 inch mark. Okay, so we'll have three lines and they should all intersect in the middle. We're going to place the contents of your front cover panel of your thank you card in the lower right hand quadrant. Um, so the front is going to be going down here in this corner, okay? Um, and then it says place the contents of your interior panel of your thank you card in the upper left hand quadrant, so that would be this one up here. And then the back side is going to be right here on the um, 90 degrees. Um, so what you're going to be doing is you are going to have to rotate your stuff to a 90 degrees. So when you draw your text box you can type in here but then you are going to have to rotate it 90 degrees to make sure that it fits. Okay. I would suggest typing in your information this way okay, or adding in your word art Word art will make it look the nicest. Um, thank you. You want to make it fancy. You want to add color for your background. You want to add pictures, um, text boxes, sh shapes if need be. Okay. Um, I'm going to move this and then I'm going to change my style and maybe even get a little bit larger and I might change the color okay I might turn it so that I know that it will fit on there okay and then I would maybe add a photo and clip art okay and so forth I would obviously you need to make one that is meaningful to you and choose 
you know, images and text that are meaningful. Um, it tells you on steps five and on step seven what to include. Um, you need to have text, you need to have appropriate graphic images, you need to have a border that complements the front cover. Um, you also need to include on your interior panel a message that co um, correlates with the front cover. You need to have an appropriate graphic image that helps illustrate your message and a border that complements your interior. On the back panel, it should be designed by your name, class of 2015 or 17 or whatever year you're graduating. Um, the message on your outside of your thank you card should be clear to the recipient as to why they are receiving this card. So if you're sending it to your mom, it should say, thank you, mom. Um, you need to experiment with using a variety of elements to make your thank you card a one-of-a-kind creative showpiece. To create a consistent look and appearance, use graphic images that coordinate well with each other and complement the front style used in your card. Carefully read through all the parts before you begin. I expect you to do a good job and to make your card look fancy and nice. Um, the sub will have an example card that I will have made to help you guys to understand what this should look like. If you have any questions, ask your sub or email me, um, or you can rewatch the video to figure out you know, what you need to do. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.